So a lot's transpired in the last couple of weeks since I recorded my first video based around what's happening globally, locally with the, uh, the coronavirus crisis. And if you saw my video this time last week, we talked about the three circles, the circles of your control, influence, and also concern. But things have happened exponentially over the last couple of weeks, and exponential external results requires exponential leadership. And this is your opportunity to really grow and evolve in a number of different ways. So I want to run through with you in this session some things to consider, keeping things as simply as possible. Now, if you've been doing some work with us for a while at ProTrade, you know we talk about the paradigm of cause versus the paradigm of effect. And the paradigm of cause says, I create and I choose the whole of my own reality. Now, we can go into the depths of what's happening externally and how we created this consciously or unconsciously, but what I want you to take on is you get to choose what all of that means. Yeah, so whatever's going on externally, you are the person who gets to choose what all of that is meaning, and you create that reality for yourself. So taking that, you know, the three key points, obviously, is love and value the whole of you, tell the whole truth, and be 100% response able, able to respond for the whole as well. So in the last video, when we talked about the three circles, we talked about what you can influence and also what you can control to help you be 100% responsible for what is happening in your personal and also in your business life. You know, leadership, and you know, this is the time when exponential leadership is required. And it's been said that crisis doesn't create character, it reveals character. And so what does it say about you right now? Because I guess we've got three choices. You know, we want to think and be fixed on the long term, but we have to navigate and be flexible in the short term. And what I'm really seeing at the moment is there's a lot of scared, there's a lot of angry, upset and frustrated people going on um, and behaving in extraordinarily different ways. Now, there's nothing wrong inherently with that, and I think a lot of that is unconscious behaviour. It's default behaviour. So we get to choose again how we behave and respond moving forward. So when it comes to leadership, exponential leadership is really about slowing down time and speeding up consciousness. Now what I mean by that is there's two different types of time. There's obviously external chronos time, which is the, the days and the weeks and the time that everybody sort of adheres to. But there's also your internal time. And you may have seen situations where athletes are playing a game and then there's the time clock going on but they talk about afterwards when they are in the zone how everything seemed to just slow down. So they were really just being aware of how they were responding. So when I talk about slowing down time, it's about slowing down your own personal time and taking care of yourself. And it's also about upping the frequency of consciousness and connection and collaboration with those people around you. So today I want to run through with you to a very simple sort of model that we've put together. And I want to tell you the team at ProTrade have been exceptional in collaborating and putting together some resources and some strategic, I guess, guidelines that you can take on. And we've created some checklists around us. You know how we love our checklists at ProTrade. So we've created three checklists that go with this video and they'll be shared with you through this week, whether it's in your groups or individually with your coach as well. So now is a time to protect and prepare. A time to protect and also prepare. Now protect is looking at what is right now, and then also the opportunity to prepare for what is coming, both the things that we can't inevitably see, but also we know on the other side this will pass and there will be amazing opportunities for your business. So I want you to think about that, protect and prepare, knowing that you're being 100% responsible for everything that's showing up in your life right now. So let's run through all of those individually and give you some guidelines and steps you can take for each of those. So let's look at, firstly, protect and prepare. So protect is not the protection that most people think it is the one from scarcity and fear, where it's all about getting and hoarding and keeping control and not letting anybody else. It's in completely the opposite. Protecting in this situation is coming from abundance and love, and it's about giving, not getting. It's about responding, not reacting. And it's really protecting what is in a way that is going to support you through this. 
So that's the first thing. And preparation, they often say, well, the best time to prepare was two months ago, two years ago. The next best time is at the end of this video. So um, you're now responsible for how you behave and act moving forward. So let's look at the first one, your community. And when I talk about your community, I want to think about yourself personally. I want you to think about your family. I want you to think about your team, those people closest to you. Now, in the checklist, I'm going to give you some indications of steps you can take for yourself, most importantly, and for your team. But I want you to think about protecting your own power in this situation. Protecting and power, if power is not power over others, it's power with others. So most importantly for yourself, because if you're not looking after yourself in this situation, you cannot be the best for others. You've got to get that. It's not about putting everybody else first and then recovering later. It's your opportunity to look after yourself right now. And I want you to think about going from consumption to creation. A lot of people at the moment are unconsciously consuming lots of material. You know, their social feeds, whether it's Facebook, you know, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, media, they're just consuming things and on an unconscious basis. They're not consciously choosing to get the facts, get the real information, and then make some decisions from there. So I want you to think about going from unconscious behavior to conscious behavior and from consumption to conscious creation or recreation and using this as an opportunity to recreate yourself and you every single day. So in our checklist, I'm going to give you an indication, three things you can do for yourself to make sure you're in the best shape possible. You know, take time every day to do some deep breathing. You know, there's a lot going on externally, internally, with your family, with your team, with your businesses, with your customers, with your clients and your suppliers. Take time out regularly to stop. Take 10, 20 really long, slow, deep breaths and check on in what you're feeling. Yeah, because this is the time to not hide your feelings, but it's there to acknowledge them. Because feelings aren't facts, you know, and often what they're based upon is future things like anxiety, uncertainty, and fear and concern. And it's okay to fear that. I felt that too. There's nothing wrong with being and feeling scared or anxious or upset or overwhelmed. But just understand that the feelings aren't the facts. So acknowledge them. Because every time you acknowledge them, you actually breathe through them and allow them to go. So do your deep breathing. Yeah? Acknowledge what's there for you right now. Yeah? And the third thing I want you to think about is gratitude. If you're watching this video, you are in the best country and in the best shape to move through this with yourself and with us at ProTrade. You know, you think about other people and other countries and how they're dealing and really not coping with what's going on. Hey, you are in the best position and should be extremely grateful for the position that you're in. So there are three little things just to consider looking after your community because remember, you are the best person to influence, not control, but influence the people in your community. The other thing is when you go from unconscious behavior to conscious, that first part was protecting. The second part is preparing, knowing that you're going to go into meetings with your family or conversation with your family and your team preparing yourself in advance how you're going to behave around that. Because it's very easy to get drawn in to how everyone else is behaving. So remember, don't let other people's scared and upset and angry impact you. I know that sounds easier said than done, but remember, you get to control yourself in that situation. And then go to be the barometer, the predictor of what's happening. At this point in time, your own personal leadership is about riding the wave but not being behind it. In fact, it's being, pun, pun the pun, but in front of the wave or in front of the curve. Now it's about riding through this with your team, with your family, and you being the inspiration on the other side of that. So have a look through the checklist that we've got in place for you to do a lot of self-care for yourself and your team and your family, so you're protecting yourself right now, but you're also preparing for greater collect connection and deeper relationships with those people on the other side of this. So now let's look at your customers. And I'm gonna include your customers as not the people who pay you, but also the people that you pay. So customers is both ways here. And your role in this situation, I really believe, is to take the fear and create certainty. Now, in this situation, I want you to think about protecting the relationships that you've worked so hard to build 
with those customers and also your suppliers over the years that you've been in business. It's now time to protect those. And you do that by looking at ways to put yourself in the shoes of your customers and your suppliers. In this situation, I think contact collaboration is more important than ever. Now, that doesn't mean sending emails. You know, this is not the time and the place for sending blanket emails out to your customers or if you're a, a supplier to other people as well. Now is the time to get on the phone and speak person to person. We all know that what we're all dealing with at the moment is such a huge amount of uncertainty. So what can you be responsible for in responding and influencing the certainty that is going on for your customers? I talked about crisis leadership is about slowing down time and increasing the frequency and also the consciousness. So now is a time to really step into what I call servant leadership. You need to serve, you need to give. It's not about getting anything from anyone at this point in time because part of preparing yourself on the other side of things is building so much trust and deepen that relationship that people will look back on you for months and years to hit about how you responded and how you handled yourself. This is the best time, I think, in the recent history for you really to build your brand and how you handle yourself through this will set you up for not just months but for years post whenever this finishes up, yeah? So how do you take fear and how do you turn it into certainty? So I talked about that. I've more probably received more emails in the last couple of weeks than I could probably think of in the last 12 months. So please be the person that is on the phone. We've got to combine the high tech with the high touch now. So what we've done in our checklist and part of that, for some of you, we've used the GROW model, the GROW conversation structure, the goal, the reality, the options, and where to from here. So what do you think about Think about the top 20, 30, 40% of your customers and those suppliers that may you know, be in um, a great position to support you through this as well. Jump on the phone and come from a place of, I care. It's not to get anything, it's to check in, it's to see how they're traveling, how you can collaborate, how you can work together and how you can create your own tribe or community in this situation. So I want you to think about that, collaborate, contact, connect, do it by phone, do it by pers in person. If you need to reallocate some resources on your team to do that, I think that you'll find that in today, trust is probably one of the number one currencies that you can continue to build. Just imagine for a second that all money lost value tomorrow. The only thing we have as our currency is trust. Okay, I want you to think about now, protect the relationships, look at what you can do to maintain the clients that you've got, support them as much as possible, look at other ways to add value than you've never thought possible before, what can you give away for free that no one else will consider to do, and then part of that is also preparing for the other side of this, you know, part of the conversation about being the leadership is setting the vision where we're going, we're going through this together. Tell people of what you're doing right now in your business to ensure that people feel that level of certainty and trust with what's happening in relationship to your business, yeah? So use the checklist, work through things with your coach right now, and I guarantee on the other side of this, you'll be in such a better position that those people who have chosen to do nothing, maybe sit back on their hands and just ride things through. Again, in unprecedented times like this, unprecedented opportunities will come through. We don't know what they are, but I guarantee if you're on the front foot, you're in front of the wave, they will be there for you. And remember, you are creating that opportunity by your behavior and action right now. So last but not least, let's talk about probably the most important part of this, but remember, it will always be an outcome of how you've responded here and also responded here. We've got to have a look at how we're going to protect our existing cash and also look at what we can do to prepare moving forward financially. So protecting your existing cash is knowing about where things are right now for you in your business. If you've never sat down and projected out your forecast for the next week, the next two weeks, the next three weeks, the next four weeks and beyond, you know, some of the clients we're working with are now forecasting right through until October, which is six months, seven months out. If you've never done that before, now is the time to start. Because if you don't know what's going on with your cash position right now, based on what you expect to come in and what you expect to go out, 
You know, you are just hoping that you're going to get through this, and unfortunately you won't. So now's the time to protect, have a look at what's going on, get the reality, get the facts. The other thing around it is protecting your cash is making sure you can monetize and get as much cash in your bank as possible by being smart. And it's not about cutting all of your so-called expenses. Yeah, because this is also an opportunity to generate extra revenue if you go back and have a look at this second step. What other ways can you serve your customers? Which I'm just going to add back to this point here. Now's not a time to necessarily keep selling and, you know, um, recommending the products that you've always recommended. Now is a time to solve the problems of your customers. And the only way you can understand really what's going on for the problems with the problems of your customers, as I said, is get on the phone and ask. Try and explore what's really going on for them and then look at solutions that no one else has possibly thought of to give them that extra certainty. It is now an opportunity also to monetize and bring in cash in different ways that you've never thought of before. So when we have a look at protecting your cash, it's about, yeah, looking through all of your expense items, go through your profit and loss historically and ask the question, is this required right now? Okay. It may be a short term cut, but at this point in time, understanding that it's not going to, if it's not giving you a return, if it's not giving you an opportunity to get an even better um, investment of your money, then you possibly may need to look at just cutting it short term. If not, it could be a great time to run through all of your expenses and cut them long term as well. I want you to think about what is seen as an investment as well. So an investment is something where you put money in and you get a return back. If not exactly what you put in, but ideally even greater from that as well. So I want you to think about areas of your life and in your business where an investment is totally possible. Now, things I think about investment are things when you're working with your bookkeeper to get accurate numbers, your accountant, um, the people on your team. It's an opportunity to reallocate resources on your team. You know, one of the things we're talking with clients about is being creative with your team. You know, a lot of people think it's either 100% or we've got to cut them all. I think there's ways that you want to get through this together. Remember, your community is your team. How do you be flexible? How do you paint the picture? How do you look at all the options? And on our checklist for cash, I've, we've run through some options with you. And again, the team have been amazing in bringing all of these options forward to support you. One of the things is being flexible with your team. You know, talking about the situation, the scenario, seeing what options are available. Part of this exponential leadership is also understanding you don't have to come up with all the answers yourself, okay? It's about collaborating with the people around you. And if you've got the right people on your team, they're going to get what's going on. They're going to be flexible. They're going to, going to be support you because at the end of the day, getting through all this together, I think would be your number one goal as a team. Because on the other side, again, you're going to have a great business that you can work with. So think about bookkeepers, accountants, um, the relationships that you have that are going to give you back over and over again the support you need, the community that you've got around you. And then look at also, and again, these are changing on a week-by-week -week basis, the incentives that are coming out from the government. I won't run through them with you here because I think there's going to be some shifts in that over the next couple of days. But when we have a look at the checklist that we give with you, um, and also the cash flow forecasting tool that you can play with, I'd be looking at everything possible that you can do to utilize what's being presented to you as a business owner. Even if you're in a healthy position, please, I think, you've set up your business really well now to take advantage of these opportunities. So we can run through those with you as well. Your cash, by the way, coming in is gonna be directly related to the level of your communication. Communication in and out, will also enhance your cash coming in. So if it's coming back down to customers, what are we gonna look at to help bring in money quicker? If you've got suppliers in this realm, what can you do to delay the money going out? And do it in a fair and a reasonable way. Remember, we don't wanna burn any bridges here. Now's not the time to cut and run. Now's the time to build deeper relationships. And if you take on some of the things we're recommending here, work closely with your coach and the team at ProTrade, on the other side of this, you will have shifted another level to being closer to the top 5% or even higher of your industry and your trade, yeah? So I trust that's been of value today. Remember, it's about understanding that crisis here is now revealing your character. It's an opportunity to bring out that exponential leadership that you have within yourself. It's about protecting 
and preparing the three key C's. You like your community, remember, which is you, your family, and your team, your customers, both internal and external, and most importantly, looking at protecting, but also preparing for the cash that you require in your business moving forward. Get to work. If you haven't done any preparation, now is the time. Please, please, please make sure you're in touch with anyone at ProTrade if you need extra support. We're doubling down on what we're doing with clients and our coaches and our team right now. Please, now's not the time to stay away and be shy. Now's the time to reach out, get the support you require, and uh, we look forward to supporting you through this journey.